Was it raided again? Fidel! <laughs> You've come back to us! Was the village attacked? <sighs> yeah. They descended on us last night. We were able to fend them off thanks to the vigilance of our scouts, but... And everyone else? Are they okay? <sighs> we took heavy losses. Right now, the injured are being treated at the infirmary, but... There aren't many left who can fight. I see. <sighs> we're trying our best. Patching the holes in our lines with those who can still walk, but... I'm not sure there's a point. So, what about the reinforcements you asked for? They'll send some, right? About that. Actually... That can wait, Miki. Let's hold off until we talk to the mayor about it tomorrow. More importantly, we have this kid. Whoa, now! When did you have time during your journey to the capital to put a bun in the oven? I didn't think you could make one that quickly. You know very well she's not ours, Ted. We rescued her on the way here. She's been out cold the whole way here. So I want to have her rest at my place. <laughs> right, right. If that's how it is, go right ahead. See you tomorrow, I guess. You're in the clear. It seems your fever has subsided, and your wounds are healing quite well. I simply can't thank you enough, Doctor. There you go. All set. You're right as rain. Now take a look at me! Hold on a minute. Don't forget about me! I could really use your help, Doctor. Can it wait a bit? My hands are tied right now. Her breathing stabilized, so I think it's safe to say she's in the clear. The fact that she still hasn't regained consciousness after a whole night isn't very comforting, though. All we can do is wait. I guess you're right. Let's meet up again later. You going over to meet with the mayor? Yeah. Oh, I see. Sorry to throw you to the wolves like this. I'm fine. Just look after the girl. Thank you.